Hello, I'm Olumide McCauley. Here's a channel's television news update for June the 29th, 2021. The managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Meli Kiari, has been explaining why the national oil company is purchasing a stake in Dangote Oil Refinery. Speaking on Channel's television, Sunrise Daily, he says the Dangote Refinery is a business that has implications on Nigeria's energy and fiscal security, and the NNPC should have a say in how it's being managed. He also argues that the decision was driven by the profit potential of the refinery business. Meanwhile, the federal government says it has approved the extension of the deadline for NIN SIM data verification to July 26. This was communicated via a statement signed jointly by the spokespersons of the Nigerian Communications Commission and the Nigeria Identity Management Commission. At least 57.3 million Nigerians have enrolled for the NIN with an average of three to four SIMs per NIN, according to the agencies. And the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed, has sworn in 18 judges to the Court of Appeal. Addressing the newly sworn in judges, he asked the judges to conduct their affairs within the ambits of the law and the oath of office administered in them. He reminds them that all eyes were on them and that they should avoid temptation as their integrity is key. On the international scene, a U.S. judge has dismissed the blockbuster antitrust action against Facebook filed last year by federal and state regulators, helping lift the value of the social media giant above $1 trillion for the first time. And in sports, Switzerland defeated world champions France 5-4 on penalties in the last 16 of Euro 2020 as Kylian Mbappe missed the decisive spot kick in the shootout following a thrilling 3-0 draw in Bucharest. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Alumide McCauley. Thank you for watching.